Thank you very much. It is an honor for me to come and lay a wreath on these great leaders, liberation leaders of the great country of Guinea-Bissau. And our coming here is to remind ourselves that these great men who came before us and fought for our independence did not fight in vain. And it inspires us to make meaning of the struggle they went through, the blood they shed, that today we are a free people. And it is the reason why we want to stand in solidarity as the people of Kenya, the people of Guinea-Bissau, and the people of our continent to stand together as independent countries and to face the challenges that face us today. Challenges as they were during the struggle of independence. Today, our challenges are different, but they are equally daunting to make sure that we forge development programs, we work on building our economies so that no citizen is left behind and that we create prosperity that is shared to make the heroes who vote for our independence proud that they left behind a people and leaders that understand the pain they went through in the struggle for independence. And I am very proud today as I stand on this ground to celebrate our heroes and to celebrate the leaders that have come after them, including my brother, President Mbalo, for what he's doing to fight for the people of this great country, to eliminate the challenges that exist to make sure all our children go to school, to make sure that we've built education infrastructure, build health infrastructure, build road infrastructure, to make sure that our countries are prosperous and that we link together in our continent to grow business, to cause tra technology transfer, to develop skills and to integrate our markets so that we can have shared prosperity. I'm very happy that my brother uh, Embalo, as President Embalo, has invited me to this great country and I have given him my undertaking, including the honor that he, his government, and the people of this great country have bestowed on me and the people of Kenya, the greatest honor of this country, that together we will forge a united front, forge a prosperous future for all our people.